Hi there, it's Samantha here from Using Technology Better. And in this little video, I'm going to show you how you can use labels in Gmail to flag emails. So I've got a couple of examples already set up, an action and a waiting for label. And you'll see I've actually applied them to the emails that I need to either action or things that I'm waiting for other people to get back to me on. And that just means I don't have to remember that I'm waiting for them and keep the email there just as a reminder. I can actually look at it and go, oh, there's a waiting tag. Now what's great about this too is that by labeling them this way, I can then quickly come over to either action or waiting and use them as a little bit like a task list. Now you might wonder why I've got the little symbol at the start of the label name here. That's just so it stay, um, stays at the top of the label list. So when you use a symbol alphabetically that is always shown at the top. I've also put a color on these and that's just so it stands out for me as well. So let's go ahead and create a third one and then I'm going to show you how you can apply them to your emails. Now to create a label you can come down right at the bottom left here of the label list and click on more. And then you can scroll down a little bit further and click create new label. So as I said, perhaps use a symbol. So that might be a dash or an at or a hash or whatever you like. I'll stick with my system and have an at and I might call this one urgent. I'm going to go ahead and click create. Now that should be up the top here. Here it is. Now to put a color on it, I can hover over it, click the little dots on the right and come up the top here to label color and I might make this one green. Now when you're ready to put the label on an email, there's a couple of ways you can do it. So you can actually open the email up. So I might open this one here and up the top you can click on the little label button and you could select for instance urgent. Now the difference between the move to button here and the label one is the move to will actually remove it from the inbox and it will just be over here in the label. The label one will actually leave it in the inbox and put the label on as well. So you'll see here I've got both. So up to you as to which one you want to use in this situation. I in this case want to leave it in my inbox as well and put the urgent on it. Now once you've done with this you would need to click the little X to make sure that you have um, to indicate that you have done that email, you've done the urgent action and make sure you can stay on top of this otherwise you end up with a whole lot of emails with labels and that becomes meaningless because some of them are already done. Now if I'm going to go back to my inbox, the other way you can quickly label an email is actually just by clicking on the label, holding down your left, left mouse key and dragging it and dropping it onto the email like that. So that leaves it wherever it is but pops the label on as well. Now in another video that I'm going to record, I'm going to show you how you can actually then use this label system as part of the priority inbox to have a split view design where you can have all your follow up items in one panel and all your waiting for's in another and your unread separately. So this is just the first step. So if you are interested in that, please make sure you look at the other video as well about how to set that up. So there you go, some little tips about using labels for flagging emails. Thanks for watching. Thank you.